What is up guys, it is Tibble here and welcome to episode 255 of the FIFA 13 Karimo. Today we have a home match against Celta Vigo and then we also have uh, two international matches for you. Uh, one of them is going to be played home against Uruguay because Uruguay are a good team. And then we have an away match against... Uh, I'm sorry but I, d I don't know that team. So it's a little bit of a waste of time match Mexico. It's a, oh, it's another home match actually. It's a little bit of a waste of time match really so that's why we're, uh, we're just going to sim that one. But, uh, but anyway... Um, a couple of things you might you might notice. First of all, um, it's nearly FIFA 14 time, but I've explained what we're going to do in the channel many times. But just quickly, a quick overview uh, before we get into the Celta Vigo gameplay. Um, basically, I'm going to be getting GTA when it comes out on Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be getting that for PS3. Me, Jordan, Stein, Ben, all other people on the channel that you've seen before. Ola Jung getting it on the sixth minute, nice and early. Uh, we're going to be getting GTA, making some videos on GTA until pretty much until FIFA 14 comes out. Uh, it will be GTA and FIFA 13. And uh, I have a really good idea for the last video on FIFA 13 career mode, so stick with me on that. That's coming towards the end of September, uh, just before FIFA 14, it should drop. And uh, we're working on that, me and Jord. Um, so yeah, GTA and FIFA up until FIFA 14. Uh, and there was another thing I wanted to say. Oh yeah, there's some background music in this video. I'm going to try out a couple of new things. One of them is to put background music in the, uh, obviously in the background. Um, so, uh, you know, a, a couple of my videos from now uh, until about, well, until about FIFA 14 drops, pretty much all of them are going to have uh, background music, uh, a variety of background music. I mean, like today, it's dubstep. So I want you guys to tell me uh, if you think, if you like the background music, first of all, and second of all, if you think it's loud enough or if you think it's too loud, uh, stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, I really need your guys' opinion, trying to make my channel better and uh, trying to make good, uh, higher quality videos. So, uh, so yeah, as I look outside, it is pissing it down with rain. So it's a perfect time to make a commentary as Messi grabs the second goal against Celta Vigo. We are at home uh, again at the new camp. And uh, it was a really good run by Jordi Alba, my left back actually getting forwards, giving the ball to Messi who finessed it. Alexis Sanchez made it 3-1 in the 69th minute, troll -lol, And uh, he called his teammates over to celebrate with him as he uh, he put the game on his back, put the team on his back and uh, and got us the 3-1 uh, the lead. At three one lead, sorry, the uh, the two goal advantage putting us in a secure possession. What in a secure position? I can't talk today, uh, but as it is, um, I still uh, made substitutions, bringing on Nana Welbeck and Gerard PK uh, because you know I realised I had internationals coming up, but it didn't really affect the game. And, and the goals were really nice and early in both the first half and the second half. Um, so around there, you know, we won 3-1. Good three points as we go into the international break. Spain versus Uruguay. Uh, that is the team. Juan Mata, Roy Lozano, Thiago, Fabregas, uh, Ambrosio, Jordi Alba. You know, most of the Barcelona players are on the bench. And a few more of them are going to be on the bench next game against Mexico. Because we have very important games when we come back. And I don't want any of my players to be injured or unavailable for any sort of reason whatsoever. Um, so yeah, there's that. We score an own goal. It's always nice to score an own goal. I mean, Garcia Flores. I don't know what this was. This is a really good run by the Uruguayan. And then that's not a, that. That's the keeper's fault, not the defender's fault. Okay, if that was in real life, I would be screaming at my keeper right now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I play centre back most of the time. So, uh, but yeah, Juan Mata, the smallest player on the pitch, grabs us an equalising goal in the 34th minute. Very nice um, to see the little man grab himself a goal and uh, you know carry us forward, carry us into the game. It was nice to uh, to see that. Especially one of my old players, you know, Matter. We always love a bit of Matter. But uh, carrying on. Um, well, there's nothing to actually carry on with. That was pretty much it. I mean, the game finished 1 1. Not, not going to lie, it was a boring game. I don't really like the international matches. They are a little bit of a waste of time for me, especially the friendlies. If it was qualifiers, then great. But it's friendly, so yeah. Mexico, we're just going to skip this game. Hernandez is still playing. He is uh, leading the line. Dos Santos, his Manchester United teammate, is on the bench, however. So, so yeah, there's that. We win 1-0, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, here's the league table. Uh, we are third, but we are now gaining. Four points behind Real Madrid, two points behind Sevilla. We are there. We are up and ready to challenge for this title. And we are ready to uh, to be the best team in Spain and finish this career mode in the best way possible. We're winning the La Liga and a win in the Champions League. That's what we want. Two trophies to end the season. That's my target. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, if you could please leave a like and a, uh, a comment, I would very much appreciate it. Apart from that, I will see you guys in the next episode where, uh, you know, it's back to the usual Champions League uh, stuff. So yeah, guys, bye. Oh, thanks for watching. Didn't know if I said that or not.